Let's go! We need to keep going up! <laughs> well, looks like the snow stopped. But it's so warm in here. Maybe we should change the mission and go down Avalonia instead. Now up we go until we find Pando. That's right. Nothing will suffice until we find a Pando. <laughs> How does anything grow in this cold weather? Look out for anything that looks like a Pando. Eh, eh, I don't see anything. Uh, maybe Avalonians really did get rid of all traces of Pando. Impossible. Not out here in the wild. Everywhere looks like everywhere else. Are you sure you know where you're going? Yes, we go up. We keep going up. Look, here's something interesting. Power station? There's a power station here? Hmm, I wonder if it was running on Pando. I want to go check it out. Eh. <sighs> looks like this place has been shut down for a while. Hello? No one is here. I wonder why a power station was built up here on the mountain. What was it powering? There's no town nearby. Looks like the control station is up there. I want to go check it out. This door seems jammed. Why are you trying to open it? Oh, I'm just curious. This door leads to the backyard. What's out there? Uh, it's nothing but snow, but maybe there was a garden out there? A garden? In a power station? If the power station was running on Pando, shouldn't they have to grow Pando? Mm, okay, I'll help you open it. Eh, eh, wow, most of the doors are jammed shut. What were they thinking? Why make these doors out of like two inch thick metal? Like they were trying to keep something in or out? Eh, eh, it's open! Wow, what happened here? Eh, eh, ah, you opened it! Why are these doors so thick? Who are they trying to keep out? Or trying to keep in? Hmm, nothing much out here. No pando, nothing's growing out here. Let's go around that way. Maybe we can find an outdoor shed or something. Why would someone dangle spoons inside a control room? If all those spoons belonged to someone who worked here, then it looks like a lot of people used to work here. But why hang spoons in the middle of a control room? A better place would be in the cafeteria. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what any of these controls do. Looks like there is our reactor. Look out there. Wow, the reactor is big. Eh, eh. I think they stored all kinds of heavy equipment in here. So that means they could have farmed Pando here. Maybe. But would Pando grow here? Isn't it better to grow Pando down at the farm and transport them here for power? Like Adrian said, why did they need such a big power station up on the mountain? To power what? Uh, I'm not sure. I wonder if this tractor looking thingy works. Hmm, I wonder how this works. Stop pressing random buttons. I want to know if this power station was running on Pando, because that's the only thing I'm interested in. I'm guessing that pipe out there is where Pando was fed, and then it goes down the conveyor belt into the reactor. I wonder if there's still some Pando left in the reactor. Mm, I think it needs Pando to run. It's not starting. Do you even know how to drive one of these things? Nope. Let's wait for Adrian. She might get angry if, if we just start playing with the heavy machineries. Look, here's a photo of a family. Do you think they belong to the driver? Mm, I wonder why the driver didn't take the picture with him when he left the power station. Eh, eh. Do you need a hand? Yeah, I can't open it. It's stuck. Everything's just stuck here. Eh, eh. Ah, it's open. <coughs> Ooh, it's dust in here. Look, 
I think we got something. Fiber? This might be Pando, or what is left of Pando. All of the juice in Pando turned into energy, and the power station spewed out all this fiber as a byproduct. Tony, you will need to help us. Okay, I think I found something we could use as a shovel. Mm, let's hook that up to a rope or something. Tony, you're going to help us shovel all this snow. Eh, eh, okay, here goes. I hope this works. Okay, Tony, let's go. Help us clear up this field of snow. Ew, we got heaps and heaps of fiber. Fiber. I guess a nice way of saying what these are. So we have a strong evidence that this power station was using Pando. Mm, not necessarily. How do you know for sure this is Pando? All we have are leftover fiber. This could be from any plant. I'm going to take some sample for further study. I wonder if they have some Pando leftover in the storage. <laughs> Good, Tony. Let's clear up this snow. Uh, there's nothing here. These are just grass. So, they did not grow Pando on this field? I guess not. Look, there's a root running down here. All these grasses are connected underneath. The root seems to be running down very deep. Ah, <sighs> this must be the sleeping quarter. I guess this is where the workers lived and slept? How many rooms are there? A lot. I can't even count. How many workers are needed to run a power station anyway? There's nothing but heaps and heaps of letters in this room. Let's go look at other rooms. It seems a lot of roots run very deep in Avalonia. Do you think they're all connected deep underground? Maybe. Does that mean they all bloom together and they're impossible to kill? Plants with deep roots do not die easily. Then how did they get rid of Pando completely? Mm, a lot of herbicide. A lot of herbicide. Avalonia is a lopsided society. Not everything in the society advanced at an equal rate. Surely, not all society is perfect, but I mean, what they have achieved is impressive, isn't it? The only reason the power station needed so many people is because they were using manual labor. So, you think all these people were laborers? What were they doing? I'm guessing transporting Pando and then moving all that Pando through the power reactor. Uh, I'm guessing nothing was automated. Eh, eh. Oh, looks like it's a storage room of some kind. Look, lots of dried up leaves. Maybe Pando was stored in here? Does Pando have seeds? Seed! Seed can survive for many, many years. I wonder if there are some Pando seeds underneath all those dried up leaves. Let's take some to Adrian. Dear Fairy Godmother, When I was at the hospital, I had some strange experiences. I am absolutely certain that these events and messages that people left me were not random or coincidences. A complete total extinction of a species, especially a dominant and domesticated species that people relied on so much? You think something else was at play here? I'm just saying, Pando does not seem like a fragile plant that was difficult to grow. I thought it would grow like a weed, but not even a trace? Isn't that strange? Come in, Tony! <laughs> Looks like you can stay here, a little bit warmer than outside. <laughs> There's a bell here! Close the door, it's cold outside. I wonder what this bell was for. Clearly, to wake up everybody, it's too loud. Most of these strange people I met seem like messengers. They also do not seem to know much. One doctor told me the real brains behind everything are somewhere else. That was one of the scariest things I ever heard. But I believe there are also multiple groups. I wonder if they are aware of each other. Anyway, someone left me a book, a short novel. 
I will omit the title of the book for now. What was that noise? Looks like Dizzy and Celia found a toy. Well, the bathroom is absolutely disgusting. Okay, I am not using this one. Was it broken even when people were here or was it broken after disuse? It's clear this place had been broken for a while. How did anyone live and work in this condition? Look, a mitten! Half a mitten! Okay, it's a mitten, it's not that interesting. It is stitched up with rags. It doesn't look like this guy could afford a new mitten. How do you know? Maybe he likes his old mitten. Just something about this place. It's kind of sad. It's because it's abandoned. It is not a book I would ever pick up and read for fun. It is not an easy read. Not even written in any language I can read, so I'm reading a translation. Maybe something was lost in the translation. Maybe something got lost in time and distance. But why this book, I wonder? Okay, here's the main power line going out of the power station. The cables are buried under. You're not seriously going to dig them out. I want to know what this power station was powering. That's our problem. There's no panda here. Let's go back. Look, there are boots here. Lots of boots. The workers left behind their boot. How did they walk out of here and went home? Uh, maybe they had two shoes, work boots and regular shoes. So all of these workers forgot to pick up their boots after drying them here? That's strange. Who is the mysterious person who wants me to read this book? What message is he sending through this book and what does he want me to do about it? I will only mention that the story is about a group of men who are trying to build a power station under a dehumanizing condition. Hmm, what are they looking for? Some kind of a report. Any kind of report showing who was here, what this power station was powering, when the shipment of Pando came in, anything. We brought Tawny inside. Oh, good idea. Spoons? Yes, we don't know what that means. Why there is a string of spoons here in the control room. Worker number 854. What? Worker number 854. His mitten and his boots are in the storage room. There was a heap of letters in room 854. 